YouTube. Um, today's video is going to be on the Optimus Crux stove. I've had this for probably four or five years, but for some reason I've never reviewed it. Something I use quite often if I'm out on a day hike. For whatever reasons, if you're out and about, you haven't got time to light a fire, you can't light a fire because you're not in a safe place to light a fire, or it's just going to look weird. You know, you can't sit by the side of the road and light a fire, or by a monument you've hiked to, or you know, lots of things. Gas stoves are excellent. If you're up a mountain and you haven't got any wood for a fire, um, obviously if you're going into cold mountains you need to make sure sometimes it's better to have the liquid fuel. I don't, but you know, if you're somewhere where it's really cold this can freeze. So yeah, the thing I loved about this is it's so compact. It literally fits into the bottom of the gas canister itself. I've just got a Coleman here, C250. It's in this little pack labelled Optimus that goes underneath and goes into the concave of the of the tin itself. Uh, has a little elastic hook here that hooks around this lip of the top of the tin. Obviously you need ones that reseal, not the ones where you pierce them open and then as soon as you take the gas, you know, you have to use all the gas. This will not work with it. Anyway, so that comes off of there and then this whole pack comes off the bottom like that. So this is the bit that's been on the bottom. It's just got this like stretchy fabric around the edge of that flicks over the top and then in these little lipped pocket type things and it doesn't melt either if these are too hot because as you can see from these they do get hot and that's why mine's gone all off coloured now. These little pot rivets become tight because you just put a layer over the metal obviously so it makes it a little bit like rust um, and then you've got this little lever here which you don't need when you're folding it open so it just clicks open like that when you're closing it pull it down and it will fold back down and I mean I remember when I was doing my research on this at the time unless something has come out of in the past five years which is possible but this is the, literally the smallest, most compact one I could find and I just loved it. It's just, I mean, you're always going to have the size of your canister, but this doesn't impair on the size of your canister. Look at that. It sticks out, you know, a tiny little bit, but it's basically part of that. When I just go for a cup of tea, I take this billy can, which unfortunately, gas tin doesn't fit in, but it took a slightly bigger billy can to cook food and stuff, that would just slot in there. Your crocs would be at the bottom. It's what a contained kit that is, you know. Um, you can get other ones that are quite small as well, but for me this was the most small and it was compact because they took that extra effort to get that top bit to bend down. Because a lot of them just come like that and then they'll have a big arm coming out of here for the uh, control for the amount of gas that comes out. But, you know, when it's like that then it becomes quite a bulky item. I think I paid about 40 quid for this at the time. And it's solid, I've used this so much and uh, it's never broke or anything like that so you know, to me it's 40 quid well spent. So then you've got these little arms which fold out, increasing rest for the pot to sit on. So that sits on there, but I mean you can fit, you can fit a frying pan on there. That, it's got some little grippy bits on there as well to keep things in line. And then the lever is here. But when you do fold the control arm down, it will not be on the minus setting as much as it could, which is there. So you have to twist it a little bit to get it to fold. But maybe this isn't the same with every one, this might just be the way mine was manufactured. I don't know, but bear that in mind because sometimes if you're in a rush or you just want to do things quick, you'll take that out, take that out, flip that open, put that on your gas can, screw it on, and then all of a sudden a load of gas will come shooting out because the lever isn't fully twisted to minus. So, I'm going to twist that to minus now, fold my little arms out, check again it's twisted to, I mean it's not going to kill you a little bit of gas coming out there, it's not like I'm not going, oh you're going to blow, or anything like that, it's just a waste of gas if anything, and you just get a big whiff of it up your nose that you don't really want. So you twist that on there nice and tight, I mean I'm not telling anybody how to suck eggs here, I know you probably have to light, know how to light a stove, but I'm just showing you the motions of this. Because for me, when I buy something and I watch YouTube videos, I like to see every little motion. So I can imagine myself doing it and if I'd like it. Okay, twist it. Lighter. You could use a flint and steel for this. 
matches. Sorry, not flint. Well, you could use a flint still, but you could use your fire still, ferrocene rod, if you, you know, if you wanted to be extreme. Now there is something dodgy here a little bit. This might be the age of mine. I noticed this the other day, but if you touch that, it can affect the thing. But whatever. It gives off some serious heat. This is all the way up to full now, and you can just see that is a pretty intense burn. I've never had to use it all the way up there because for me it's just too intense. What I'm going to do now is a quick boil test. Right, that's a 250ml cup there. That's a big cup of tea. This is a titanium the tonka. I just have to look on the bottom. A bit dirty now, but it's got the measurements on the inside of these tonka mugs. So I've put 250ml in there. This lid doesn't come with the Tatonka mug, it was just off of a, luckily off of another cook can that I use, cooked tin. Some ones I brought in Sri Lanka and it fits on there pretty nicely, enough to, um, obviously when you're boiling water you want to keep the lid on there because it boils quicker. I'm now going to whack the stopwatch down there, I mean because I'm going to stop the camera in a minute so you don't have to sit there for however long it takes to boil. Well, start, start, there we go. So I'd say, I mean, I could whack it all the way up to this really bad boy one, but then it's just going to make it really hard to take the lid off. And now, on that note, this is not the best lid in the world because what I do want to do is drill a little hole in there and put like a little plastic uh, knob on it so you can take it off a bit easier. Because if I touch that, obviously, these, especially with this, these flames come out the side, they're going to heat that metal you're going to touch it and you're going to burn your fingers. I'm going to pause you and come back to you when we're boiled. Right, I'm coming back to you a lot quicker than expected, YouTube. As you can see, we're on 2 minutes 11 at the minute. Um, and that lid is already bubbling now. Like I say, this isn't the best design. There we go, look at that. Look at that, 2 minutes. That beats a Hexenman block any day, doesn't it? Okay. Well, 2.27 it got to then, but it was about two minutes. Compared to a Hexamine block, alcohol stove, anything of that nature, that is so much quicker, it's ridiculous. Yeah, a Hexamine stove is a lot smaller than that, but is it a lot lighter? I don't know. When This obviously hasn't got full gas in it now. But once you load a Hexamine burner up with Hexamine, it can, it does get a bit heavy, and the same with an alcohol stove, you've got to carry the alcohol with it, which is probably going to start weighing the same as a can anyway. So I had one of them really bulky beeps for years where once you pierce it, you're done, and it's a big unit, and even the can is in a plastic housing itself, and just such a large, bulky bug. Obviously, this would easily stretch up to the to the 500. There's plenty of slack on there. The 500 size tin, I mean. There you go. Optimus Crocs stove. Like I say, there is a light one, but the light, the one I, from the pictures I looked at, the light one, the top doesn't flip over. So, but I think it's made of lighter weight material. So because of that, it probably has to be a solid pipe going to the top. And you can't put all the little bits it's got on there, but that is so light. If you wanted to go any lighter than that, you're getting into crazy territory. For me, um, I don't know, you know, obviously the longer you're walking the weight does add up, but that is so light, it's ridiculous. Optimus Crux stove. In my opinion, can't go wrong.